Welcome to Sports and Focus. I'm your host, Fitzroy Prendergast. We're coming to you from El Salvador, San Salvador in El Salvador, at the CC Can Swimming Championship. And we've caught up with the boss himself, the president of CC Can, Auburn Mendoza. And we're going to be talking to him about his life in sports. And also, we want to talk to him about what is happening in swimming generally. Mr. Mendoza, uh, first of all, uh, tell us about how you got involved in sports. Because for my Jamaican viewers, they'd like to know a little bit about you. All right, thank you. I am uh, have been involved in swimming, for example, the last uh, 40 years. Uh, I came into swimming following my children, like everybody. I have been in Jamaica uh, three or four times, in different uh, occasions, different sport events. And I like Jamaica. Yes. I like Jamaican. I like Jamaican uh, people and Jamaican food also. <laughs> You're a Mexican by birth, right? Yes, right. <laughs> How did you specifically, specifically got involved in the swimming? swimming? Well, in Puerto Rico, I was uh, in college. I was a basketball player. I was a baseball player. Interesting. I never learned how to play uh, cricket. Because <laughs> we don't play that in, uh, in our island. Yes. We just uh, concentrate in basketball and uh, baseball and boxing. We have boxing. Okay. And also on the female side, we have uh, five Miss Universe so far. A, a lot of beautiful uh, girls and women, <laughs> including my wife, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. And um, since your involvement in swimming, how has swimming evolved over the years? Well, swimming is coming up uh, very good. I mean, uh, I, when I started in 1966, in this second championship, we have only about 300 or 400 uh, participants. And now we have in this, uh, in Salvador, we have more than 1,000 uh, participants. Means that we are going, going, growing up, and probably we are going to be victims of our growth, see? All right, tell us, um, when you look at what is happening in the, in the sport, uh, what do you think needs to improve? Um, I, I notice we have a lot of Caribbean countries here, Jamaica's here, Jamaica's here, Barbados is there, um, you know, St. Kitts, a lot of small countries as well as other Central American countries. What exactly do you think um, needs to happen for swimming to improve the sport generally across the world? All right, uh, first, we need money. All the islands uh, which have a small budget, they need more money, more support from the uh, Olympic Committee, more support from the city, uh, from the uh, federal government, whatever you call, and that's the first thing. And then uh, over that, we have, uh, we should need other uh, private uh, enterprises to support and back the swimming. We have a big, a big problem that uh, our sport is for kids, you know, children, that they, they don't produce, uh, they're not professional, they don't produce uh, money. That's what is more difficult for the federation to raise uh, a budget, uh, raise their budget, to go to different places. And uh, every day is getting more, costing more money. And for example, we need to, in, in, in order to improve the technical uh, point of view, we need more money to bring uh, coaches to seminars, a clinic here and there, and then make a dual meets and uh, have our delegation, our uh, senior swimmer, whatever you call, to go out to different places where they have a good swimming. One of the interesting things about you, you've been um, a president for a, a long time. What would you say is your legacy in, in the sport of swimming? As president of CC Can, what do you think over the years, what, what um, have you done as president to change the sport radically? Oh yes, I have been dealing with the uh, International Federation, getting the clinics. For the uh, federation, we have 20, by the way, we have 24 federations in the SESA can. Uh, other than clinics, I have been uh, going helping with the little budget that we have in SESA can to small federation to uh, host and prepare a small federation, I mean, a small, me, uh, small events. And Jamaica is uh, famous for that. Uh, John Early now is a secretary of SESA can. By the way, uh, yesterday we uh, gave to uh, Jamaica the next uh, uh, CISC, the Caribbean Island Swimming Competition is going to be here in, in Kingston, Jamaica. And also the first one in that particular uh, event was held in, in Kingston right. in 1976. I was there, I was there, and it was a good competition. You people in Jamaica, you know how to organize. You know, you are serious people. 
The last time we had the Cisco over there, I was watching all those, uh, I say in parentheses, old people doing a perfect job, like a soldier, this, 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 and that. And that's what we want in this sport. Uh, John did a good job as president of the Jamaican uh, Swimming uh, Federation. And for the first time, we have four, four disciplines in one pool. And he did it almost perfect, you know? So now everybody likes to come back to uh, Jamaica and uh, everybody, when uh, Jamaica proposed, everybody stand up and clamps and Jamaica again, let's go to Jamaica against them. So that thing is going to help the tourism in Jamaica. Plus you people are good friends and everybody loves to go back to Jamaica. Now, I know you are, you're also on the board of FINA, um, yes. the World Federation. Um, when you look at FINA, and uh, of course swimming is a part of the Olympic Games, is there anything that you think swimming needs to do at that level? Well, we at the Bureau of Labor, I am at the Bureau of, Labor, uh, Bureau of FINA, we have been spending a lot of money uh, to help all federations. We have uh, right now one uh, 195 federations belong to FINA, and every, every time we have a big competition, uh, like the last one we have in Melbourne, the World Championship, well, spending five, six, or seven million dollars to help all the delegation to bring at least four or five uh, participants, including the coaches, things like that. In addition to that, we have spent a lot of money in clinics, in water polo, in swimming, diving, and everything. By the way, in Jamaica, I started a good movement in water polo. I was asking uh, uh, John how you let them go down a little bit. And he said that uh, people are getting bored, some people, uh, some uh, participants go to the state or go to, uh, to British uh, England, whatever it is, and then they don't, they don't have the complete thing. But I think that you people in Jamaica, you are people sport, sport. Yeah? you like the sport. The people like the sport. Like in Australia, you go to Australia for a world championship, and 75% of the people love sport. Yeah? And I see Jamaica, other than track and field, which I like track and field. <laughs> and they love uh, sport. And you, my the people, is helping to develop the swimming in Jamaica. Final question. When you look at uh, overall the efforts that have been made by different federations across the Caribbean, and uh, particularly in CC Can, uh, what can we expect of the CC Can in the future? What can we expect? As I told you before, we are going too much, too fast. Right now, in order to have this beat, we, we need at least four swimming pools. That we are reducing the, the possibility of different countries to host this event because uh, most of the country doesn't have four uh, Olympic pools to uh, celebrate this event. And uh, for example, here we have one, two, and three, four, and we are finishing late tonight because we have only three with 1,000 participants, imagine. We are moving fast because we got good officers and we are doing our best in order to accomplish or uh, comply with the schedule. So you, you basically are saying that um, you need more facilities in the, in the, in the so Caribbean? Some federations need more facilities. Although, although they are willing to celebrate the good international competition, they don't have enough uh, facility uh, at that level to meet or comply with the FINA requirements. Thank you very, very much, right, Carlos right. Mendoza. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure talking to you. And I wish you all the best in your endeavors here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you to all my friends in Jamaica. <laughs> and we also had a chat with the president of the Swimming Association of Jamaica, John Eyre. Speaking now with John Eyre, the president of the Amateur Swimming Association of Jamaica. And he's also secretary of CC Can. John Congratulations, and first of all, I just want to look at the, the whole aspect of this championship in El Salvador. What is your role and function at the CCCAN? Tell us. Well, as secretary, I'm responsible for making sure that all the rules of CCCAN are adhered to, certainly administratively. Uh, we have to check all the passports to make sure the date of births were correct, take the minutes at the meetings, and like all the CCCAN executive, we, we play different roles to make sure the competition runs uh, fairly in accordance with FINA rules, CC CAN rules, and uh, in accordance with good practice. Want to look at? Um, <clears throat> you must be heartened by Jamaica's performance. A, uh, a small team, but very effective. Your thoughts? Well, of course, I'm very happy. Um, Ken Deese has done very well. Missed two goals, 
uh, yesterday, just by a fraction of a hair, but a uh, good experience for her. and She's done a fantastic job, very proud of her. Uh, but the team as a whole, I think, is doing very well. And when we travel, we need to make sure, as we've been doing, that we carry the best and those that are going to be competitive. And we'd love to have more depth, but I'm very happy with the way, the way things have gone. Well, for the viewers who might be watching the program, one of the things that would interest some of them is how you started in swimming. Were you a, a swimmer per se, or you just love administrating sports generally? Well, I got involved in swimming. Well, let's put it this way. I'm a basketballer at heart. I played basketball for high school, played basketball for a club in my early years. But because of my daughters getting involved in swimming, I'm the type of person I don't sit, sit around when I see things need to be done. And I got involved. I saw things that needed to be done, got involved, and more and more just got deeper involved. First in the Tornado Swim Club, and then eventually as the Tornado Swim Club representative on the SAJ Council. And then as a, a vice president and eventually as president. And uh, enjoying it. It's, 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 it's something I, I think recently I've been thinking it's something to look forward to after I retire. It's something to keep my brain active. Amen. What's a challenge for you, John? Because certainly swimming is one of the sports that need a lot of, you know, um, development. A lot of, uh, it's not one of those sports that uh, you can just allow to go by and, and that it has to have somebody who has the energy and stuff um, to deal with it. What's the challenge for you? The biggest challenge for me is fundraising. Raising funds, that's the biggest challenge. Everything else um, falls into place when you have, when you have funding and, and, and it's much easier. The other issue, I think, is making sure that we have the right people in place and getting sufficient volunteers, and that's another challenge as well. Uh, but for the most part, fundraising is the hardest part. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done. If we had more volunteers, it certainly would be easier. But I, I think you're going to see as time goes on with Swim Jamaica bringing more people into the sport that you'll see the sport, all the disciplines, grow uh, exponentially. It's, it's, give it five to ten years and you'll see a tremendous growth, I believe. The president of CCCAN had high praises for Jamaica in terms of its or, um, Jamaica's organization and in, in terms of the level of interest of the sport in Jamaica. Your thoughts on that? Well, historically I think Jamaica has always had high standards and in recent times I've been pretty uh, adamant that whatever we do, we do it well. And I think Jamaica has set some very high standards when we organize meets and, and, and we have a good reputation for that. And you hear comments here, for example, this meet is, not, is a good meet but not the best. And uh, people have come up to me and said, these, these people being the organizers need to come to Jamaica to see how a meet is really run. And I think all of our volunteers, all of the people who make Jamaica what it is, need to take credit for that. I'm very proud of that. One of the things I'm impressed with on this tour is particularly some of the talent that is here. Not necessarily, um, uh, Brad is an outstanding talent, um, Young Foster is another talent. Um, we seem to have a lot of young talent who just ne need the guidance and they're particularly getting the exposure overseas. Your thoughts on that as well? They need lots of competition, um, but we also need lots of depth in Jamaica. And again, I think Swim Jamaica eventually is going to help solve that problem. Many of our swimmers, uh, are good but individuals in an age group and we need to get four, five, six, seven, eight people in an age group fa contending for the top two spots and when we do that you'll see our performances sig improve significantly but we have to give those who are here credits and, and, and there are a few others as well who couldn't come, Alia for example she's in training for the Pan Am Games and, and a few others but again, credit, credit to those who are here. They, they work hard under trying circumstances. Uh, we'd love to have more people to train with. And that's something we're going to have to work with over the next few years in Jamaica. Final question. As we look towards um, some championships that Jamaica will be hosting, I'm sure that we'll be involved in um, another championship, the Caribbean Swim, Swim Championship. Tell us about that possibility and what do you expect of that? Well, we've been asked to host the Caribbean Island Swimming Championships for the... Uh, a fourth time. If we do host it, Jamaica will be the country that has hosted it the most times since it was uh, conceived. Uh, we're, we'll talk to the government, see whether they, they're okay with it, and if they're okay with it, then we'll host it next July. Talking about 500 athletes in swimming, synchronized swimming, and water polo. Uh, we did a fantastic job in 2004, held it before in, in 94 and 76. And once again, we hope to raise the standard, not only the performance of the swims, but also the organization as well.
I did say final question, but one just popped into my head. As we go forward, your, your thoughts, looking forward uh, to swimming, uh, you must have some, some thoughts, some notions about where you want to take swimming. If you, um, as you, you mentioned, uh, retiring, what would you want to see after you've, you, you, you finished um, your, you know, your career and uh, your tenure as uh, the president of the ASAJ? Well, number one, a, a medal of some sort at the Olympics. Um, but in order to get that, I think, and you've heard me allude to, to more swimmers, uh, we need to have a number of water polo clubs, a number of synchronized swimming clubs, uh, many, many more swimmers, um, and, and many swimmers contending for the top two spots. And obviously we'd love to see good open water swimming and diving as well in Jamaica. But, but certainly those... Is that a bit difficult? From a resources point of view, we need to focus on the three disciplines we're working. I'd, ra I'd rather not venture off into another discipline until we get additional resources. But certainly working with the three disciplines that we have now, many more clubs, many more uh, participants, uh, which I think will in turn inherently increase the competition and the performance of our Jamaican athletes. And I'd, before, before I retire, I'd love to see that happening. For, uh, ending with a medal, preferably a goal at the Olympics, who knows? Thank you very, very much, John. All the best. Welcome. Thank you.